Well, hello YouTube. This is Bela Mage again, and here we are going to talk about the new DirectX 12 renderer that GDG just launched yesterday in its initial beta. To begin with, I'm going to say TLDR in case people get bored and don't want to watch all of my thoughts. TLDR, very, very good. Start using it immediately. But let's get into some of the details. Up until now, we've had a lot of people running the Vulkan client, which runs incredibly well in what I'm calling low impact scenarios. This means that if you're not running like super, super juiced to delirious maps, Vulkan actually tends to run very smoothly. Um, a lot of people who just do Alk and Go or minimal investment have found no problem at all running the Vulkan client. But anyone who does super min max stuff or 40, 60% delirious, double beyond Vulcan, unfortunately, craps the bed. It, it doesn't hold up. It, it never held up. Even from the moment it was introduced, it never got any better. It's unable to handle super juiced content. So that left people playing on DirectX 11, which is leaving a lot to be desired generally uh we've got all the classic things all of the normal once you juice your maps enough it lags um all of that is gone um all of the things when stuff explode where it it stutters and jumps all of that is gone with the rec x12 um all day yesterday i did a whole bunch of testing with this i was running triple and in some cases quad beyond 60% delirious tier 16s full scarabs king harbingers breaches uh strong boxes um just so much stuff so many mobs and i ended up about halfway through the day turning all my graphics up to the maximum setting which i have never been able to do even in non delirious content and I was still running around in 60% delirious with the delirium fog everywhere and mobs everywhere. Tons of mobs, literally quad beyond 60% delirious. Tier 16s, fully scarabed, fully sextanted, everything, as much juice as I could pump into the thing. And it didn't miss a beat all day. It sometimes, occasionally, it lowered it the resolution the, the dynamic resolution scaling would kick in and that would be it would just like make stuff look a little worse but it never lagged it never stuttered it never jumped jumped it never missed a beat nothing bad happened all day um this is as far as i'm concerned this feels like it feels like a brand new game i can do anything on here so in the background, you've been seeing some of the Madwing footage, which looks very, very, very good. But let's jump into game. Okay. So, looking in game here, um, what I have done is I have launched my client and then pressed go to hideout. And that's it. I haven't moved anywhere. And I'm going to do the same thing for all three versions. So this is the important part. So... I'm doing this because I've got a lot of stacked MTXs here on my map portal. And you can see we're using, mm, it averages out at like 35 to 38% CPU. And I've got 100% of my GPU going right now. Um, there's a lot of high down MTXs in this little tree. Uh, and what this is doing is DirectX 11. That is what DirectX 11 is currently costing right there just sitting in my hideout now to be fair there is a disgusting amount of mtx's all stacked on top of each other to make that christmas tree i know it's a christmas tree it's not christmas anymore i'm lazy i haven't changed my hideout since christmas moving on this is what most of the juiced players are running uh most of the less juiced players who just do elk and go stuff have been getting away with falcon um which granted does run significantly better now when you change renderers it takes a minute everything will spike it's re-rendering everything in the new renderer everything will spike and it'll come down 
eventually so this is much better we're using a little more cpu in vulcan um this has been the case on everyone else's computer i've talked to as well a little more cpu intense um however we're only using about 20, 19 19 ish percent 18 percent apparently of the gpu um this is where this sits um however what's been really good is the new beta of directrix 12 the very first version so we press that again and you wait for everything to do its little spike because you know it's re-rendering everything again cpu usage goes down all the way to 40 and G gpu mm, sitting at about 20 22 uh before before i did this test last time it was at 18 i was hoping it would be at 18 again but either way sitting at 22 so like load on my system actually pretty similar to vulcan um almost almost point for point same as the vulcan client so if vulcan runs really really smooth for you you're probably going to find directx 12 is running smooth for you too and you wouldn't notice a difference and if you're like an alcan go person maybe you won't even notice the difference it's probably going to be different system to system i'm not going to lie to you i don't really understand how any of this works i don't know what the difference is between them i know it's a different engine i don't know i don't know what i don't know what the differences are what i do know is that vulcan on every single computer in existence shits the bed in super juiced maps so any proper juicer any del especially delirium vulcan just does not handle delirium and if you're running around and you get delirium maps and your computer lags a ton and you're just like oh ggg this is the solution we've been waiting for directx 12 has not skipped a beat i had a chat with 150 people in it yesterday while we were all testing it and as far as we could tell every single person who was able to select directx 12 reported it being either the same as vulcan or better than vulcan and i would stipulate that the people who said it was the same aren't doing the super super juice content and anyone that said it was better is um because it's just mm, i actually cannot wait to be playing this next league start with direct x 12 it, it really feels like a new game i'm super excited about it i had to share it with everyone this is not like any of my normal content i apologize go back to build stuff but super excited about this super super excited about this absolutely give directx 12 a go also if you have any problems with directx 12 because you go and test it because you came and watched my video and i'm so excited i would like to hear about your problems um i would like to hear as much detail about your problems as i could possibly get please comment them in the video if you have any because the more access to the problems that i get the better i'll be able to figure out who should be running it who shouldn't be running it that sort of thing that's kind of how content creators get all the answers to tell you what's wrong it's people complain about stuff until we figure out the pattern so would love to know if anyone actually has problems running it otherwise i will see everybody next time goodbye